Welcome to a celebration of Cardiff's 20 years as host venue to the Speedway Grand Prix Series and some of its most iconic moments. In at number 20 is a I Was There moment. Yes, it was 2001 as Mark Loram led out the likes of Billy Hamill, Tony Rickardson, Tomasz Golob, Lee Adams, Nicky Pedersen and Jason Crump to name a few. The Cardiff noise created within this indoor arena may have been deafening for Britain's Mark Loram and the rest of the riders, but it would be for the next 20 years become the event's trademark. But on such an iconic night, there would only be one man's name in lights. Away they go, and it's a great start from Rick Arson. Rick Arson gets ahead. Gollum in second. Gollum comes back at Rick Arson, but Rick Arson is ahead. Thomas Gollum in second, and Jason Krupp trying to go around the outside. It was all happening behind Tony. They were all shifting for that second position or that chance to get that extra drive to pass him. Jason's moving high. Thomas makes a mistake. Jason goes into second place. Tony's well out front with Nicholson last. So the six-time world champion and for some the greatest speedway rider of the modern era etched himself into history on that famous night as Cardiff's first ever Grand Prix winner. At 19, it was Craig Cook and to use his words, he goes to Trap City. And they're away and Cook's made a good start. Craig Cook has made a beauty off the inside gate. Now can Craig Cook get his first ever Grand Prix oh, victory here? Don't look back, boy. Just keep looking forward and wind it on. Lingwood's not going to get to him. This is a Go great on, drive Cook. Super stuff from him. It's been a tough year, but Craig Cook has got a win! Oh, you've got to be so pleased for him. The been moment a... of his career, Calf. He's won a race at Cardiff. Off, off the inside gate, but Cook's there as well. Cook off gate number four. Oh, Craig Cook, magnificent. Can he get two oh. on the spin? Two on the shot for Craig Cook. What a moment for Craig Cook. The referee has let it go, and Cook has the lead. Indianovsky has pulled up. He thought the red lights were going to come on there. Cook won't care. He's out in front, looking like his third win. Goodness me, what a surprise this is. Nine points. So for the Englishman and night to remember under the roof of this famous venue. Well, Cardiff and the Speedway weekend wouldn't be complete if you didn't take in the fan zone. You voted this in at number 18, as for many of the fans, it's a favourite part of the whole experience when visiting the spiritual home of the sport. A place to meet the riders and get that all-important autograph and selfie. At number 17, we take you back to 2013 and a young Russian rider by the name of Emil Seikutinov. A crash in the initial running of the final saw Sweden's Fede Lindgren disqualified, leaving three at the tapes for the second start. And here comes Seifuganov from the outside. What a move from the Russian! Down the back straight, Emil Seifuganov leads Christoph Kasperzak. Kasperzak's having a go now. One last move of oh! How do they stay on the bike? Seifuganov comes through to take the win. Niels Christian Everson second. Oh! Kasperzak goes to third. He threw absolutely everything at Seifuganov there. Of course, it's my dream win here, so... It's awesome atmosphere, you know. It's thank you very much for all fans. Thank you. At 16, we come bang up to date with a very emotional night for a certain day. Here we go. Can Smarslik get there? Oh, Madsen's made a beauty. Smarslik makes ground almost. Smarslik's locked up. Smarslik has locked up. Oh, and he just holds on to second. No, he doesn't. Oh, Smarslik's made a bit of a hash of that. But what can you say about Madsen? He won in Warsaw in very similar conditions. He's going to win in the Principality tonight. It's been a tough time for Madsen the last few rounds, but he's going to win in Cardiff. Leon Madsen does it. The Great Dane here in Cardiff tonight. In front of all these fans. What a win that is. Fantastic. Man, did he turn on the star there? He has come from nowhere. All over the place earlier on tonight. But he got 
all of his spare bike and he has come up truck big time. That how, was fantastic. How good was he off the start night? Look what, what it means to him as well. It means An emotional there. night indeed for the man who went on to become second in the world in 2019. Sneaking in at 15, personally I think it should be higher, is the famous Cardiff Grand Prix opening ceremony. Not one stood out, but all. Months in the planning, these extravaganzas over the years have seen lights and laser shows, music, singing and dancing, delighting the crowd. Symbolising the start of the evening with the introduction of the riders ahead of racing, it's become a firm family favourite. Back to the track for number 14 and 2003 and the man who truly became the Grand Prix's pantomime villain. Let go! Oh, and it's a great start from the inside from Nicky Pedersen and from Rickardson. But Rickardson forced out wide from that outside gate and Pedersen now coming under pressure from Greg Hancock. A day that Nicky couldn't get set on where he was going to start on that inside line. He just got a little bit slight of a roller and he pulls it off. He's out in front. He's got the rest of the boys chasing him down. It's the man who's never won the British Grand Prix before who's in front at the moment. The battle's on for second place. It's Jason Grump with Rickardson trying to go around the outside as into trouble. Greg Hancock just hits the ruts. He does. There's all kinds of little ruts out there that'll take you for a ride if you don't hold on to it. But not for Nicky Pedersen. He's out front enjoying clean air. This is remarkable stuff. Sam, he's been on the ground, I think it what well, he is down a couple of times tonight, and yet here he is in front. He's determined to take this one, and guess what? He's gonna carry this one into his home country, the next Grand Prix. And it's also gonna move him up in the championship as well. This is great stuff. He was second in the season opener of the European Grand Prix. He wins the British Grand Prix in Cardiff. Nicky Pedersen, the man that everyone wanted to hate, but is pure box office. Number 13, and it's our first dust up. And away from the start, and it's a good one for Holder. And now diving up the inside is oh. Jason Crump. How close is that? Crump has the lead. Not for long, though, because Davy Watt comes through and charges through magnificently. Fellow Australian Davy Watt would go on to win the race, but a few choice words were about to happen between his fellow countrymen. And Holder and Crump uh -oh. having one or two words What's here. What's going on there? A little conversation with your fellow Australian. Yeah, it's nothing. I mean, of course, Chris is frustrated because he, he didn't get a lot of room left, but um, that's Grand Prix racing. I've been in plenty of situations when I've had no room left. And, you know, he'll learn. He's a, he's a great rider, and, you know, his future is huge in the sport. Chris Holders, Grand Prix are tough. We all know that, and you all want to score points. Uh, yeah, exactly. And, um, yeah, I, got, I don't know, you know, I just, I'm just a bit annoyed, but whatever. Let's go. Just got to get some points now for the last one. I need to win this one. Taking the 12th spot and a very likeable Polish man and now world champion. A rider who has never missed a Cardiff final. Here we go! Smarznik's going to hit the front early on. Smarznik has got that lead and he's looking convincing here. Whopping in his second, third is Greg Hancock. Bartosz Smarznik holding that advantage right now and he's been brilliant oh. all night. Hank Whopping and trying to close that gap, he hit a bit of a run there. Smarznik with a lap to go, Whopping in second place, but I think Smarznik's going to do it. Smarznik's getting up here, no question. It's a terrific ride from the pole. Bartosz Smarznik of Poland wins the British Grand Prix. Many congratulations to Bartosz Smarznik. He is fully deserves to win on the night. Just dropping two points. Just outside the top ten and one special heat for an Englishman in 2016. Here we go, heat number 19. Smarslick's made a good gate there. Now can Zega move the switch up the inside? What can Hancock do? He's at the back at the moment. Yeah. Danny King comes through into second. Danny King is going wide and he loves doing that. Danny King. Danny King comes through to the lead! What a ride from the British wildcard! That's what he's all about, Danny King. Oh. Battle with the man in red here, Bartosz Smarslick. This would be a moment that Danny King will remember for the rest of his life. Smarslick second, and Zagar has come through into third, ahead of Greg Hancock. It's a bit like Rusters, isn't it? Yeah. 
We have to wait all day to see one, and then suddenly two come along at the same time. But I may have given the commentators curse. King has smiled the game with a fabulous race out in front. Hancock's out the back, but Danny King, can he hang on? Smiles then coming on hard in second place. Down to the line, let's listen to the crowd. He's won a race in Cardiff! He's won a race as the wild card! Look what it means to him! He's celebrating like he's won the British title again! Well done, Danny King! The Principality Stadium salutes you! Into the top ten now, and we have our three-time world champion, Ty Woffenden, in that Wonder Heat 19 in 2015. And Woffenden's been left standing at the start, it's Hancock on two, magnificent from Greg Hancock has that lead and here comes Woffenden round the outside and Everson is trying the inside line as well, Woffenden goes wide, he's going to try the inside switch and Everson's come through and now Woffenden up the inside! Brilliant move from Woffenden to get into second place, Everson coming back at him hard down the back straight, Woffenden just about gets himself back into that second place, what a start from the world champion out of gate two, Hancock. Brilliant stuff from him. Woofenden now coming on. Here he strong. comes! Woofenden coming on really strong. Hank on respond. Oh, it's tight going into turn three. So very tight indeed. Woofenden were coming on again. Here he comes again! Woofenden! Wow, what a move! Charges up the inside! And Woofenden has just passed the world champion. He's gone from last to first. The race of the night. Woofy, Woofy, Woofy! What a fabulous ride that was from Ty Woofenden. Still without a Cardiff victory, can the three-time world champion do it in 2020? At nine and into the top ten of most memorable moments over the past 20 years, the fireworks. Thousands of flashes, bangs, ahs and oohs over the years have gone up in smoke and at times into the roof as the fireworks beautifully timed and in sync end the evening drawing closure on yet another year. In at number eight and it's about first corners. 2011 and a young Seyfutinov lined up in the final with Hancock, Pedersen and Holder. Off the start and exciting turn one, the Russian battling with Holder for position seemed to hit a rut, spectacularly throwing him off his bike, thus excluding him from the rerun. Three left in the final and who would be the first into turn one? The three remaining riders have all won a Cardiff before. Pedersen in 03, Holder last year, Hancock off the outside in 04. Who's going to emerge? Pedersen charges hard up the oh. inside. They're all going to the fence. Oh. Hancock prevails. How on earth not. did he stay on the bike? That was sensational and very reminiscent of Andreas Jonsson and Tony Rickardson with the wall of death rides around here in the past. Exactly that. Nicky Pedersen pushing so hard from the inside, squeezed them all up and Greg Hancock had to have closed his eyes. A tough but fair fight as Greg Hancock took the spoils on the night and his second Cardiff win under the roof. Chris Holder, you nearly did it two years in a row. I know, I was uh, coming to the tapes dreaming about that, you know, and I put everything into it, and that was probably the two toughest first corners I think I've ever done on a speedway bike, and I wouldn't have put my life on the line that big for any other event, but Cardiff, man, you're going to do crazy things. Nicky Pedersen, we didn't need nearly as much track in the first corner, wasn't very wide there. Uh, no, you know, I mean... It's only guys like this, you know, we stay on it, otherwise somebody would have come off, you know. Chrissy pushed me a little bit over the white line, you know, and I didn't really have anywhere else to go, but uh, we still saw Greg what managed to go around us, you know, so there was a room for everybody, you know, but it was a tough race, you know, but these boys, they're fantastic, you know, and uh, everyone deserved to win it tonight. Number seven, yes, it's that man, Nicky Pedersen again, in the thick of the action, as he gets caught up with the exclusion of Davey Watt in 2010, Heat 19. The rerun, and he then sets about his fellow countrymen. 
Now look at the Danes really having a go at each other. Anderson in blue, Pedersen in red. Now Pedersen comes back up the inside. Oh, they're wheel to wheel. Will it end in tears? Anderson holds on in blue. How close are they getting here, Sam? Woohoo! As you say, he has it's just so. Oh, jeez, that was so close. He looks over his shoulder and says, OK, he didn't fall off. Come on, baby, let's race for it. This is amazing stuff. And Ty Woffington raises the Millennium Stadium roof. Second place, Hans Anderson. Nicky Pedersen third. But Anderson and Pedersen, fellow countrymen, really knocking lumps out of each other. And, well, one or two afters here, oh. just like we saw with Holder and Crump. It's tense out there. Look at, look at that. Let's just watch. It's all oh, a little bit of elbow there. Hans, what's he going to do? Looks like he's backing off, saying, OK, never mind. Let's get on with it. Let's just get out of here. Nicky's going. Oh, still going on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. OK. <laughs> These two are supposed to be teammates in the Speedway World Cup, not too, too lot far ahead from here. And, uh, well, I'm sure when it calms down a little bit later, they'll have a proper discussion about that. Just outside the top five favourite moments, and we go back to 2004. Greg Hancock's first ever Cardiff win, featuring the late Lee Richardson. Oh, oh nearly a break from Grub, away they go. It's a great start from Greg Hancock in red and from Lee Richardson in yellow. Trying to go around the outside of him. The top two get away immediately, but it's Hancock, the American, fending off Lee Richardson. But Lee Richardson will not give up. He's got the support of the fans. Can he come through and beat the American? He's giving it his all. Terrific first lap from Lee Richardson. A great end from the outside. But here comes Adams. Oh, just caught in the wrong position there, Richardson. Oh. Meanwhile, Crump is at the back. He blew it at the start. Tried to anticipate. But it's Hancock looks good out front. Yeah, Lee Adams has moved up to second place and now he's putting the pressure on Greg Hancock who glances over his shoulder as Lee Richardson is pushed back down to third. As you say, Crumpy's struggling a little bit. No, but Adams. Don't discount Adams. No, Adams has got so much speed. He's come from nowhere. Looks like he might be hitting the front. Oh, what a racing prospect here. Coming up to the last corner. Who's going to win the British Grand Prix? Hancock oh. goes very wide. Adams on the inside. On the line. Side by side across the line. And I think Hancock got it. Indeed, Hancock did. The likeable American would go on to win two more Grand Prix under the famous roof and over the years has proven to be one of the fans' favourite riders. In at number five, 2010 final and an Australian and that trophy. What a start from Chris Holder in blue. It's all very tight there with Crump. Watch out for Crump up the inside. It's all wheel to wheel down the back straight and Holder has pulled clear. Crump is second. Here comes Hans Anderson in yellow. But Hampel is still in the mix for third place. Holder though, in his debut British Grand Prix, he's under pressure from Crump now. He was so beautiful. He mathematically worked that out over Hampel going into turn one. Didn't lose his composure. Look at him now, right in the middle of the track. He's leaving the door wide open from experienced boys on the inside of him. This guy's brave, he's confident, he's working the racetrack. To repeat what I said earlier, three weeks ago, Chris Holder, who leads the British Grand Prix final, thought he'd broken his arm in Torrent, and yet here he is, on the verge of a dream victory. But Jason Crump's coming oh. back for more. These two had a bit of afters a little bit earlier in the meeting, but it looks like Holder's going to have the last word. Woo. Chris Holder on his British Grand Prix debut. Chris Holder, first time in Cardiff, first final, first win. Thank you. Um, I think I won a lot of people money today. A lot of people come up to me saying they had money on us and I just laugh at it. But to be honest, man, I honestly can't believe that just happened. And uh, they are the longest four laps and the slowest four laps I think I've ever done. And um, I knew they would be behind me and I was just trying not to think too much, just try and ride my own race. I'm stoked the way it worked out. It was unbelievable. Chris would go on to win Cardiff again in 2012, the year he became world champion. At number four and one of the greatest individual performances seen under the roof, 2009 and three-time world champion Jason Crump and a seven-ride maximum. 
Away they go. Crum makes a fantastic start. Roars into the first corner. Powers down that back straight. Frederick Lindgren into second place. Hancock at this stage in third. But Crum once again unstoppable out front. What an explosive start once again. Freddie did a great first quarter to put himself into the second position, but Hancock now has got some pressure. Look at Hans Anderson, really working the outside. Is, is he going to settle for that, or is he going to keep pushing? Oh, I'm sure he's going to keep pushing, Sam. There's no doubt about it. He wants to make the rostrum tonight. He's had a disappointing campaign this, uh, this year, but out front, Jason Krupp, the consistency, the performance tonight. He's stretching that lead in the World Championship. Everything going his way. Anderson now roaring around the outside. Can he get the better of Greg Hancock? Yes, he can. What a performance from him, stealing that third place away. But Jason Crump, what a performance. He wins the Grand Prix in the Millennium Stadium. Oh, what a night for Jason Crump. Doesn't get much better than that. Seven out of seven tonight. 24 points on the table, stretching away at the top of the table in the World Championship. Jason Crump in a class of his own. So, to your top three moments over the past two decades. It's the first corner in 2009 and heat five with Britain's Scott Nichols and Russian Emil Sekutinov. More handbags. Well, that's a tough move from Nichols. Nichols hanging on. Ulamek wins the race. Terrific battle out there for third place, but uh, two on the bounce for Ulamek. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look, a little bit of confrontation there. ML's got something to say to Scotty. They're, they're knocking elbows, Kel. They are indeed. Oh, looks like it's escalating. Oh, okay. So good enough, not letting go. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, here there we go. we go. Tell you what, emotions running Red high. Red Red <laughs> wow. Well, I didn't oh, see. Oh, no. good right hook there from Nichols. No doubt about it. I didn't see much wrong there from Scotty Nichols. No doubt about it. He was racing hard, desperate for points this year in the Grand Prix series. And uh, what can you say? Oh, out of order. We just seen one of Saifudinov's crew there, and it sparked off again. A night of much tension for our two warriors of shale. At number two, and always in the memories of you, the fans, we have Tony Rickardson's infamous Wall of Death. Away we go, good start from Apple. Rick Hardson's running around the outside, and he's still there, right around the outside goes Rick Hardson. I can't believe what I've just seen, Ben, that's unbelievable. He shouldn't have been able to get away with that. He's ridden the wall of death there, right around the air fence. They talk about doing it the hard way. You certainly did that today. Yeah, well, what can I say? I think that's my best, uh, best first goal in my whole career. That was just perfect. I'm so happy. You could describe that as motocross almost. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a motocross, velodrome racing, a little bit of uh, speedway in it as well. The six-time world champion still has never quite understood how he managed to achieve that move. And to this very day, nor does any of his fellow competitors. So, at number one, and the most memorable moment of 20 years. 2007, Chris Harris lines up in the final with the weight and expectation of a nation. Chris Harris can win this. It will be such a massive boost for British Speedway. Four laps of action. Hang on to the edge of your seats. What a because start. Hancock has made the start, and Chris Harris is last. But he's coming through now into third, and into second as well. Chris Harris battling with Jason. Oh, Cole. he's out oh, of shape there. He's gone from second nearly to the back into third place. Fabulous start from Greg. Inside. Fabulous start from Greg Hancock there from gate three. Oh, Chris Harris up in the second spot. Oh, this is unbelievable. Hancock looking comfortable, but Chris Harris is still there. He's still going for it. Crump is third, and Harris is wheel to wheel with Hancock. Oh, once again, how does he miss him? Whoa, wonderful throttle control from Chris Harris. Go, Chris Harris. Greg Hancock, though, he's an experienced campaigner. He's going to have to ride all over the track to stop him. One lap to go. Come on, Chris Harris. Down the back straight he goes. And Hancock looks over his shoulder. Yes. Watch out for this here. This is magnificent. And Chris Harris. Harris. Oh, the oh, ride. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Fantastic. What a ride from Chris Harris. Look at the place. has gone absolutely wild. He, what a move on the last corner to turn back up the inside. 
Sensational ride from Chris Harris. Have we ever seen a Grand Prix final like that, Calvin Tatum? Oh, I have not witnessed anything like it. He's had seven Ooh. worlds tonight. He's only made one start out of seven. Wonderful performance. Absolutely remarkable. We see. You know, and you've got to say the crowds, they've been entertained. Look, they've gone absolutely wild. Wild indeed, and not a dry eye in the house, as Chris Harris achieved what no other British rider has accomplished since, to win his own Grand Prix under the famous roof of Cardiff Stadium. Number one on the night then, and our number one of our 20 years of iconic moments.